Good morning everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. And as you can tell, I am in my brother's boat again. And uh, we're gonna do part two of the boat rigging. We're gonna finish up the T-top and finish up the wiring this morning. So y'all stay with us, I'll show you what we're doing. So we're fixing to put the stabilizers on. And what this is, this goes on the tube this goes through the console and it, it, it stabilizes. That's why it's called a stabilizer. But I want to show you real quick the, uh, let me get you down here. So he got the canvas top put on it this week. Got all the big lights and everything. And I'm going to wire it all up to the console to the switches. But it really, he got all the rod holders on the back up here on there. The uh, rocket launcher, what do you call them? Um, T-top really dresses the boat out. It really looks good. So let's we'll go ahead and drill these holes. All right, so we got to get the angle right. So I can't go flat, but I can just go a little bit. We'll take a center punch. You need to come up above center, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm right above center right there. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is your boat. <laughs> <laughs> Blame you forever. <laughs> Instead of me going, hey, look what I screwed up. All right, get me a quarter inch drill bit. We'll go with the header right here. All right, here we go. We still have to water it down a little bit, ain't it? Uh, no. Maybe not. I think that's a, like a 10 millimeter or something, what it says. Yeah. 3 8 slash 10 or something. So, took a small bit in the center punch. Now we're going to take this long bit and go all the way through into the console. 9.5 millimeter. Lord willing. 9.5? Yep. Slash 3.8. Well, yep, okay. Let's see. We're probably going to take a beer bit and water and hold that, all of the hole a little bit, I think. Of course, now we got to get a solid cut this thing. Yeah, it's we got to cut this in two. Okay. 
Okay, we'll have to take the and all this side come out from the other side and then we'll have to do we just run the extra material in there and not cut it off? Or It'll yeah, fit. yeah, it'll, it'll fit. fit. It ain't gonna be in the way enough. It'll fit. Uh, uh, so then we'll have to. We need to make that hole a little bit bigger. It needs to have a little clearance so it don't so crack everything. This is gonna be a slight angle. Yeah. So, what if we can set this on the top? Fix it. Maybe it'll be all right. Okay, so we got the hole drilled all the way through. Now we got to get a saw to cut the, uh, it's a plastic little uh, piece that goes in between the T-top and the uh, console. And it's got these little bevel washers that fit on the tube. You know, and then, uh, and then you tighten everything down. It's got a big uh, aluminum washer on the inside of the console and a nut that you tighten up. So we're going to do that and I'll come right back. All right, one thing I found, it's hard to make a video in the boat while you're trying to work on something. So, but we got the stabilizers on each side of the T-top. It's tight. Don't think it's going anywhere. So now, I gotta work on the lights. So I gotta put each one of these, I gotta bring the hot to the switch, and then the black, I gotta take to a common point where the negative is. We got it lined up where we have one switch for the front light, the big LED light. The T-top lights on the inside, all the little small LEDs will be on one switch. We got some courtesy lights to mount on the side of the console. Uh, I think that's it. And then we have this anchor light. And it'll come back to the anchor light switch. I'm got an alarm going off. So anyway, I'm gonna work on that and uh, try to show you what I'm doing as I go. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I've got these little spade connectors that crimp on, and then I got some heat shrink tubing that I'm gonna go on the outside of them. And all the switches have little uh, male spade connectors. This is female. And uh, I'm gonna try to go ahead and uh, hook them up on the switches on this end and there's a terminal strip down on the side of the console that you hook the common to or the ground so i will do that and i'll show you some pictures what that looks like um, i can't get the camera in anywhere to show this it's i might be able to i'm gonna try but then i will start uh, hooking up all the light connections and making sure I get good heat shrink connections on those. All right, just so you can see what I got here, I hope you can. I'll try to zoom into it. So I got the, one of the red wires going to one of the lights. I got a piece of heat shrink tubing and I got a spade connector. I'm gonna put the spade connector on. If there's a little notch in or a little tab in there the wire goes up to, you take a good pair of crimping pliers these are really good clines and uh, now if this was a saltwater boat I wouldn't want to do this I'd use the ones made for saltwater this freshwater boat so what you do you crimp it you make a good crimp any electrical connection you make test it because it could just come right off all right I'm gonna get the heat gun plugged up I'm going to put the heat shrink up to about right there. I may even, no, I'm going to put it to right there. Hopefully y'all can see it. Let me. So you can't see any of the metal. Will heat shrink it on there? Give me just a second. Let me grab the heat gun. I'll be right back. Now this is just a little Harbor Freight heat gun. Let me back you back out again. Too close. There we go. A little Harbor Freight heat gun. It's got a temperature readout on it and little buttons on the back. It's 34 degrees today. It feels good. Um, so what we're going to do, let me move it up just a little bit. 
We'll zoom you in again. Take it. And like I said, if this is a saltwater boat, I'd use a little bit different connector, but we're okay here. This is going to work good. And that's all it takes right there. That heat shrink is on there. And uh, we're going to do each one of those like that. I'll bring you back when I get done. All right, it's a couple days later. And I'm, I'm back in the boat. As you can see, I'm right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the screws out of the switch panel where I had them in there. And I've got to add a, a little uh, piggyback wiring uh, spade connector to this because the boat has wiring running from the accessory switches to certain parts of the boat and I don't want to affect that. I just want to add the new wiring to it. So when you flip that accessory switch on, it's going to give power somewhere else, but I don't want to, I don't want to leave wires dangling in the console. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. Y'all hang with me. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this or not. This is a crimp on female spade. It has a male spade on the other side. So you push this on the terminal of the switch. The existing wire will go on the male part. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me... Let me shine a flashlight on that. You can see all the spade connectors that go on the little uh, male parts on the switch. Well, I've got some that are that I took off. I'm gonna put those back on right here. So let me get those on there, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so not to interrupt any of the other wiring in the boat. Let me get you down here so you can see it. I hope you can see that. So I have a piggyback on this one right here where my finger is. I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't know how anybody hold the camera for me. Piggyback on the next one. These are the front light, the T-top lights. And then over here, I have one for the anchor light. So it feeds power to both sides from the middle so if you have an anchor or navigation I got lights so pretty cool so you can actually see me up here now not much to look at so anyway this is what I wanted to get done today uh, back to the the rest of the video that shows you everything together so all right, so I've been working on the wiring, and let me show you what I got so far. Flip my little screen back. Okay, so I've still got the console out right, or the switch panel out because I'm working on it. But so I got that light working. These two small lights, and I've hidden the wires best I can. It's everything's exposed. So okay, and then this light. Get you back, 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 back. Okay, that light. All right, we'll flip this one off. Flip this one on. This big honking Super Dino Whopper light, it's a flood and spot. You can probably see way out there in the yard with it. Um, so, I got all that. We got the stabilizers put on. The stabilizers are right here. Um, they bolt on, they bolt all the way through the console and um, really stiffen the thing up. Uh, here's where I brought the wires in for the T-top. This is a half inch gland connector or what I like to call a strain relief, cord grip, whatever. Then I've, I've tried to hide the wires best I can. Um, the uh, anchor light up here, I got it on. 
So when you turn the uh, running lights on, navigation lights, that comes on. So, boy, I can't hardly see me there. So I got to do a little more cleanup and uh, put the put the switch panel back on there with the screws. And we'll just about have it ready to go late. Now we got some more console lights. So he bought some more console lights that, that he's going to put on the side of the console. But I'm not going to do those today. I'll wait and do those another day. Um, I've had about all this I can take for the day. So. Plus I'm bleeding. But anyway, uh, when I get done, I'll show you what I got. All right, so, probably can't see that very well. Tried to hide the, the um, wiring and everything, but I don't think it looks too bad. I am not a professional boat rigger, let's just say it that way, so. Um, got everything down here looking good really stable it's uh turn the switches on here so i've got two lights here to shine inside the the cockpit here for the when you go in the electronics box or the graph or whatever got this one that shines this whole back area here this whole back area be lit up if you're throwing the cast net at night or something and picking up baits and stuff we do a lot of cast net and bait live bait fishing that one whew, that'll blind everybody on the lake and then you got this little one here that'll shine this whole area when you're up here throwing the cast net or working the trolling motor or whatever uh, this boat i didn't go over it real good um, this boat has a 36 volt 112 pound trust uh, altera it deploys itself it's on a quick release space got the gps up here for the graph uh got all the wiring and everything it's got an anchor box uh top notch trolling motor we're gonna have a three bank charger we're gonna mount it next uh we got a two bank charger already in the back got dual house batteries in the back this boat has a 19 inch apex hummingbird this thing is massive. Uh, pretty neat. Got an electronics box. It's got an AM FM Bluetooth stereo with four JBL speakers. And like I showed on the last video, it's got the big 150 Mercury back here with hydraulic steering and um, everything. He's put uh, tight lock rod holders and um, Driftmaster rod holders got four drift masters and two of the other for doing live bait fishing and trolling so anyway hope y'all like this video give me a thumbs up if you did hit that subscribe button hit that bell be notified and uh we're almost at 800 subscribers and can't thank you enough but anyway i hope everybody's having a great weekend and a great day and until the next video thanks for watching